There are friends that you lose. When you're in an abusive relationship like that, what they'll try to do is they'll try to isolate you. It's like, that's not a good friend, that's not a good friend. All of a sudden, none of your friends are good friends. You know, you'll find something wrong with each of your friends for one reason or another to justify not being able to spend time with your friends. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the isolation and you don't realize it, but you want to keep the peace. My friend list started shortening and then I start focusing on just the three of us, you two, myself, and you know, he was in and out of jail, but because the good times were so good that sometimes the bad times, you just work through it because I'm a scrapper, I'm a fighter. Mm -hmm. And I would think I can do it. I can, I can, handle, I can make do. I can handle this. Mm -hmm. But it got to the point where when you're small and I see you two and I'm looking at you and really realizing I'm teaching you that this is normal. If I stay here, you're going to think that this is the way men should normally treat women mm -hmm. and dads should treat moms. And I didn't want that. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that for you guys. So I thought I can be strong enough for me, but I need to be even stronger for you. Mm -hmm. So as much as I loved him, and I do believe that you do love the person and you give everything. And that's the other aspect is you think you've invested so much in this person. You don't want to walk away, but sometimes you've got to count those losses. Like really, what am I really going to lose here? How long did it take you? You girls were six years old. And honestly, I cannot even take credit for that. I have to say the state of Illinois is what was huge on that because it would escalate. The abuse escalates to the point where he became a stalker. And, it, and I would leave and he'd stalk me and I'd leave and he'd stalk me and move to another place and moved in the and break in there and break in there. And, and so finally, the, the state of Illinois was like, either you get out of Illinois or we're going to put you in prison for a long time. Mm -hmm. So he had to leave. And I think that's what saved my life or, or you know, or his. Because mm -hmm. at that point, in my mind, I really thought either he was going to die or I was going to die. Mm -hmm. One or the other. And what made you get to that point? The abuse escalates. It doesn't get better. It just gets uglier. And it... If you're with an abuser and they see that you'll take that much, then they're always going to push it. Mm -hmm. You'll take more and you'll take more. And so when you find yourself looking in the mirror, and at one point I had one eye was closed shut and the other one I could barely, barely see out of it. Barely. And to know that it's like, wow, and that didn't even make me leave. That didn't make me leave.